hello friends welcome back to our tutor in this tutorial I am going to teach you how to create this um, nice isometric design for NFT so that you can use this uh, isometric design for creating NFT websites, NFT marketplace websites and NFT marketplace mobile apps so friends I hope you will enjoy this tutorial so please watch until the end of the video and if you're new to our channel don't forget to subscribe and also activate the bell icon to get the notifications from us because we regularly update uh, nice informative tutorials in our channel and also um, please share this tutorial if you like this and also leave your comments in the comment section if you have any doubts please ask in the comment section Without any further delay, uh, let's get into the tutorial. Okay, and now here I want to use um, these four colors for my illustration. And I have taken frame with uh, 1024 width and 1024 height okay and now uh, I want to keep this frame color in this dark color and with the circle tool create some shapes randomly And pick the colors and apply blur effect. Go to the effects and choose layer blur. Uh, I change the width to So here as the not blending, I'm using more black to the layer blur so that it won't stand out and blend with the remaining layers. Thank you. 
no tape and then here so draw a rectangle which is black keep it so opacity to 50% and uh, the effects keep background black and increase this effect Now we have all these layers because we are creating uh, the main illustrations. I don't want these to create disturbance. So, so we have all these layers. Now our background is completed. So now go to polygon two. Draw polygon. With six sides. Okay. This is the plain solid color. Uh, I need to give, I mean, I want to give a gradient. So choose the inner gradient. Now go to the effects, create a mesh shadow, increase Y and uh, X, choose darker for color from the screen. Get this control D and remove the fill and give it stroke, choose inside and choose it the light gray color and give the stroke, stroke width. Remove another special of it and now uh, it will and keep its brand more to screen. Which one is looking better? Let's keep overlay. And now duplicate this one more time and delete this stroke also and give fill color. Okay. 
no grass or tree. So subtract this circle from the shape, call them shape. Choose linear. Okay. Even though you subtract it, still there is chance to edit the oval shape. So go to subtract and select this oval and adjust it. Now make all this one group, control G and keep it aside, do get this one and keep it aside, select this and press control black backslash to search and from there um, search for isometric. So this is the plugin. So matrix the plugins. Uh, you can install this plugin. Click now. If you don't know how to install plugin, you can check my Figma basics tutorial. Or else you can search from here also. If your Figma is updated, you can search from here from the plugin session. You should make it okay. And now press Control Alt and drag this one to make it duplicate. No, no, select this one, and by pressing Alt. And drag this down to make it duplicate. So I want only one shape. So I'm removing the stroke one and the gradient one. And also I'll remove this effect um, in the shadow. I'll keep it the bottom. Now with the pen tool, let's connect these two from this point to this point and from here to here. If they are not aligned properly, zoom it and align it. Now let's remove its stroke and add fill color. Click this color. Go to linear.
you press Ctrl D to duplicate this shape and press Shift H to flip it horizontal and align to the other side. Not choose this color. Select all this. Let's bring this group to top of all layers and select all this. Press Ctrl G to make them own group and press Ctrl D to duplicate that one and make it small size and bring it to top of all the layer and align it properly. and align this gradient as well Now let's create a square. Press R to go to the square tool or rectangle tool. The person shift out to draw a square. And then now apply colors, the linear gradient with these two shades, the pink and the purple shade. Press Ctrl plus Bachelors and search for the symmetric symmetric top right. Okay, by pressing Alt, drag this one to make it duplicate and make it small size, a very small size. Without pencil, draw shapes by connecting this one. Linear gradient. Okay, let's apply this one and then the later we can change the shades. Should 
this under the covers and see how they are looking. Yeah. Uh, okay. Um, this one, this one, this color. Select all this and make them one group under G. Something missing. Um, yeah, we need to apply strokes for this, right? So go to stroke, keep it inside, and for the stroke also choose linear. And for the linear, instead black, you can choose different colors. Same thing here also. Inside and the new colors. And let's draw one oval shape vertically. Edit points, so make them sharp on both sides. So by going to this tool, it will become a point, it will make it sharp. Open the effects, maybe we'll add blood. And choose brand mode to screen or overlay. So if I check which one works with the I have doubled that one and adjusted it to the both ends. Now select all this and make it a group. Press Ctrl D to duplicate that one and Shift V to Okay, so this group, control view, 
the wet shift V to flip it wet clay and move it down. Control plus back bracket arrow, it will bring it down from the tree. Select all these and press Ctrl to make them blue. If you don't like these pink colors, if you want to edit them in later stage also, you can edit this gradients. Now let's create an FP text. Go to the text tool, type and next in capitals, make them big, select this text and control shift and use period, period key so that we make the text bigger and keep it in bold or black so black looks better okay. I want to keep it in white color, but what do you think in which color it looks better? I think it's pink. It looks better. No. No. So linear pink and this shape. No. Okay, let's keep it in white color for now. And go to a plugin isometric top right. Mm, yeah. Let's try a different angle. So make it top left. I think right looks cool than the left. Okay. So here make it do that, bring it down and change its color to little darker. Share connecting this. Use two of the new smooth color. Make it little darker. Or oh, this one snap to picture blue dark thing. Google this couple of times and then adjust the remaining things.
So let's let's convert this text place to outline script and this pattern. For this one, we need to choose or click on the text and choose pattern. Now what should we do is uh, we need to edit the bottom and up the text below. So click on this, add a point and connect it to the like that. For this one also, add point, add it there. Add point, Now we get this one and bring it little down and bring it bottom of all this and of text layers and then keep the color darker, little darker and apply blur effect, little layer blur and make it all this a group and group. Make it smaller. Let's see without this blur shadow effect. I don't think so. So enable the player. You want to constantly make it darker or a little lighter. You can that's used for you.
crashing down all around this empty town i'm searching for the lost and found but you don't care you're unaware keep moving like the scars aren't even there it's in the air like a blazing flare So here what happens is when I make it, make it small, the radius of this square is being increased. So to avoid that one, select that layer, select that one, see, still we have the chance to read the radius. To avoid that, right click on that and choose flatten. Now it became a shape. You can't edit uh, the rounded corners of the square anymore. Make it small. Make it small. When we make it small, the effect is also increasing, so we can adjust that effect later. Go to, go to its effect panel and uh, 
Now, so we'll get this one, control D, and remove this effect, and as well as the fill color and add stroke. Um, white color, and then choose soft white or overlay. So, I think overlay is looking better than the soft light. Uh, okay. Now let's do with this. Control D and bring it up. Make it small. As it's been two shapes, let's flatten it to make it one shape. And bring these points to the top. So move them up. Or else you can. Uh, remove these points. Go to the pen tool by pressing Alt and then clicking on this point will remove the points. If you also got these uh, two points there, drag it to the other end and those two points will be connected. So move them up. No.
back of all these lies Don't care if I capsize Oh no
Now press control backslash and search for iconify. If you don't have this plugin, please install this plugin. Where you'll have a lot of um, three vector icons. Only search image. Now apply gradient for this linear gradient and then choose Get to fill this uh, hello areas. I draw a rectangle and send it back to this image icon. Select this both and make it a group. And then again, search for our uh, isometric options. Select this shape and duplicate that one and remove this. And now,
here you see it's looking no, it's not looking nice because these both are not connected so it's missing the 3d depth so let's connect this and create some depth there make the colors little darker Now select all this except that uh, image icon and duplicate that one by pressing Alt and drag it so that you will make a duplicate. Now again search for Iconify and uh, this video icon. Or else music. Make it bigger. And draw a rectangle again. Make it white and send it back. Fill this with the gradient with ink and the purple gradient. Make it a group and apply a symmetric for that one. Do good this again. Send it back. Edit this. and make the gradient little darker
I duplicated this um, symbol and remove fill color for all the shapes and make it a bigger and also remove this as well Now let's create a crypto coin symbol. So take a circle, apply a little gold gradient for that one. Duplicate that one and remove the fill and apply stroke for that duplicate shape. Duplicate stroke it. and change its pen mode.
so i use the same uh, nft symbol but change the blend mode to blend that with the gold uh, gradient now oh, apply symmetric effect for that Now select this bottom eclipse. Just get that one. Bring it down. Remove effects. And apply. Add few more points to this eclipse. So to give the coin kind of look, draw lines there. Get this done. Change their color to darker gray and uh, use the blend mode. Let's use Wowerly. Because single word 
No, I think this is a monkey. Okay. Make a duke and send it back. Send it back. Select all this and make complete. Trying hard, but you wanna be my friend. Ain't no place to hide, ain't no one to run to. Here we go, here we go again. Call my bluff, I'ma be you till the end. I'm the one you ride, I'm the one you ride to. If you
you go Lord knows that I've tried to You said I was the only one No one likes being like to You made this mess and left me with the pieces Now I wanna burn all the bridges between us
I'm on my own, broken alone. I feel the rain crashing down. All around this empty town, I'm searching for the lost and found. But you don't care, you're unaware. Keep moving like the scars aren't even there. It's in the air, like a blazing flare. Pointing, blaming you, you did not know
So, okay, friends, uh, that's the end of this tutorial. I hope you all have enjoyed this tutorial. If you have any doubts, please ask them in the comment section. If you like it, please share this video. And if you are new to our channel, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and uh, click the bell icon to get the regular notifications from our channel whenever you upload a new interesting video. You get the notification from us. And we'll catch up again in the next video. Till then, be safe.